A student at Atlantic Coast High School has been arrested, accused of making a threat on social media to shoot up the school. The student has not been identified, but it marks one of the first substantial threats made this school year. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett spoke with the head of Duval School Security and parents. Here at Atlantic Coast High School, it didn't take long for things to return to normal, but school officials say parents need to pay attention to what's happening with their kids, especially when these threats are made. There were some tense times this morning at Atlantic Coast High School when school officials learned a student threatened to shoot up the school. One parent who didn't want to be identified talked to us all on the phone. She says her daughter was texting her during the entire ordeal. I was freaking out, wanting to make sure that my daughter was okay. Um, I know that school shootings can be very serious, so I was really just sitting here waiting to hear from someone from the school to let me know what was going on. Um, just to make sure she was okay, and she just kept texting me throughout the situation, letting me know that she was okay and what was going on. The principal sent out this notice to parents, letting them know what was going on and that the student was apprehended. It also let them know that there were additional police at the school, and they were later informed that they wanted to, they could pick up their kids and they wouldn't be marked absent. I talked to the chief of Duval School Board Police about what happened and what parents need to know. It's not something that's unusual. Um, it was a threat to shoot the school, and so we, we anticipate these at any given time. Chief Greg Burton says they monitor two security apps, including this one, Fortify Florida, which is on every school computer, and they suggest parents download the app. It allows suspicious activity to be reported by parents, students, and teachers. Social media threats are something they don't take lightly, even if a student is just kidding. They say parents need to pay attention to what kids are saying online and to friends. We don't take them as being a joke, um, a lapse in judgment. We take each one very seriously, and if we find out who made the threat, we will do the investigation, and if appropriate, we will make the arrest. And not every case ends in an arrest. It depends on how the threat was actually made and where. We have made a request to see just how many students were arrested last year for similar actions, and we'll continue to follow it up this school year. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. In the last 15 minutes, we received these numbers from the school district. Last year, there were 109 threats to shoot up, blow up, bomb, or bring a gun to school. In the 2020-21 school year, there were 46.